Calaroga Shark Media. Hello, I'm Johnny Mac with five good news stories. You know what the new celebrity hobby is? Beekeeping. Yeah, um, not sure. I'll tell you why in a second. But the, as the story goes, stars creating a buzz around the pastime include Beyonce, Scarlett Johansson, David Beckham, Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and of course, Sting. Yeah, uh-huh. A poll of 2,000 adults revealed that nearly half, 47%, are looking for more unusual hobbies such as origami or foraging for food in the wild. Yeah. Olympic diver Tom Daly loves to knit. He and fellow knitter Julia Roberts were voted as two of the most inspiring celebrity hobbyists. This is going somewhere, trust me. Other activities gaining momentum among the survey participants include open mic poetry, arranging flowers, and geocaching, a public treasure hunt that uses GPS locations to bury hidden containers. All right, Johnny Mac, what's the twist? Well, the survey was commissioned by Sky News ahead of the action film release of The Beekeeper. The film's director said... I'm not surprised there's so much buzz around beekeeping. I'm hoping our film will only enhance that. Boy, that's convenient, isn't it? And of course, Jason Statham is also into beekeeping. How convenient. The director says, always one to immerse himself in a movie. Jason Statham really connected with the whole zen of beekeeping, which was quite therapeutic between all the grueling action sequences. Uh Uh-huh. So the top inspiring celebrity hobbyists are, according to this, number one, David Beckham for beekeeping, Tom Daly knitting, Scarlett Johansson, beekeeping, Uh uh-huh, Rod Stewart, model railways, Beyonce, beekeeping, Uh uh-huh, Sting, of course, beekeeping. Other than uh, his nickname, he got his nickname from wearing a black and yellow shirt 40 years ago. Julia Roberts knitting, Brad Pitt, pottery, Richard Branson's into chess, flea beekeeping, Nicole Kidman's skydives, Henry Cavill's into Warhammer, Will Smith is into fencing, Francis Bourgeois is into train spotting, Bill Gates plays bridge, Claudia Schiffer collects insects, and Susan Sarandon is into ping pong. Congratulations to a 42-year-old martial artist in India, Sidhu Kashteri spent 55 hours, 15 minutes, throwing punches at a punching bag. The rules said you had to throw one punch every two seconds, but you did get a five-minute break each hour. But you're allowed to bank the breaks for longer breaks down the road. He told Guinness, I've been practicing martial arts for the last 25 years. I'm interested in contributing to my country, so I decided to attempt this world record. He said the pain started around the 20-hour mark. I'll remind you he went 55 hours, which is 35 more hours. And I'll also remind you there are 24 hours in a day. At that point, I reminded myself it was a test of my limits. I believe that if I stayed emotionally strong, I can endure the pain. Good job by Kobe, the four-year-old husky who stopped the neighborhood from blowing up. Kobe's owner noticed that Kobe was digging in the same spot. Hour after hour. She didn't think much of it because Kobe's a digger. But then the hole got larger and larger. And the owner was like, huh. The owner says, I trust his judgment because that wasn't typical behavior. He has great senses and he never digs holes unless he's helping me dig. I knew something was up. Well, there was a gas leak. Long story short, it was pretty serious and Kobe saved the day for that house and a couple others. Nice job. Also, great job by a parrot who figured out how to escape a British zoo. The rainbow lorikeet landed on a visitor as they were exiting the walk-in enclosure of the parrot land. The guest asked a zookeeper, hey, can you get this parrot off me? But... The parrot flew away. The bird was spotted in several trees in various locations around the zoo, but fled before it could be recaptured. The zoo moved its other rainbow lorikeets to outdoor enclosures, hoping that their calls would summon their wayward friend. And good news, if you and your spouse are fighting over which way the toilet roll should hang in the bathroom, an expert has settled it. Do you hang it over or under? Fortunately for us, etiquette expert Jackie Vernon Thompson has settled this. She tells the Daily Mail that research reveals that the proper and most hygienic way to hang your toilet paper is over. She says that also goes for paper towels. Not only is it hygienic, it lends to maintaining proper hygiene, which is proper etiquette. The Inside Out School of Etiquette explained that the inventor Seth Wheeler listed the correct way to hang toilet paper in a diagram way back in 1891. Toilet paper was new then, and he had explained how you use it. He included a sketch showing the paper on the holder hanging over the top. Jackie Vernon Thompson explains, if the paper is over when you reach for it, your fingers will touch only the piece that you plan to use. And in a weird twist, she also asked people to consider using it the wrong way in a public bathroom, grossing people out, encouraging them to hang their toilet paper the correct way. 
I'm just picturing, you know, you're on a truck stop in I-80 and I don't even know how that works. Hey, dude, come in here in this stall. Let me show you something like weird. That's your five good news stories for today. If you enjoy the program, tell a friend about it. They might enjoy it, too. And you have a great day.